Good morning guys, welcome to today on this snowy, cold, wintry day. Actually, it's actually nice out. Like, I can tell it's gonna get kind of warm today. It's gonna be above freezing for the next few days. So, I'll probably take our horse's blankets off, maybe. <laughs> it's so cold still. Like, I don't know. It's so warm outside. I feel warm. like, I mean, I was born in Canada and I still cannot handle the cold. Like, I hate the cold. I hate it, I hate it. I hate having animals. Yeah, it's warm out today. You think it's warm out today too? Yeah, I hate having all animals in the snow, like in the cold. And the thing about Canada is that, oh, we're leaving without Gabby? She's already in here. Oh, Gabby, you're here. <laughs> the thing about Canada is that it's cold here for like six months. Actually, it's cold here for seven months. It's literally cold in Canada for more than it's warm. And I still can't stand it. Oh, it's the worst. But you know what I read yesterday? I read that winter is meant to be like a winter solstice. Like, you're meant to hibernate like all the animals that hibernate. You're meant to lay low. You're meant to go in the house and you're supposed to reflect on your year. You're supposed to like spend that time conserving energy and and like learning about who you are and about like you're supposed to stay inside and you're supposed to spend time reflecting and growing as a person so i'm good with that <laughs> i'm totally good with that would you what yeah like it is cold i don't know why we made a channel with horses in it like that was the stupidest thing we should have made a channel about like crafts or or like, I don't know. I can't finish any <laughs> What? I can't finish any <laughs> We suck at crafts, but you know what we are really good at? Love, we're good at love, so love. You know what I'm really good at? What are you really good at? Training You know, Sophia's not a professional trainer. She's getting lots of help from professional trainers and she's doing really well. But I love that she's excited about training her horses. Anyway, we're headed to Walmart to get some stuff. We're still shopping, still finishing up the last bit of our little of our of the shopping that we need to get done. Today has to be the day. I need to put up the Christmas tree for sure. All right, so we are in the hair section. I have this. No, not that. I have a hair straightener. What the heck is this? Your hair, your way. Bedhead, rock and roller. What do you think of that? So my hair straightener, like after you've had them for a while, they stop working as well. We've had these before. Oh, this is so different. We've had these and they work good, but it's never like the one that we had, we had them when they first came out and it kind of hurt your head. Like it wasn't a nice brush. That one's cool. I like a big, Gabby's <laughs> ruining the place. I like a big thick straightener. I hate like the tiny skinny ones. You have to have the highest heat. That one's cool because you'd use it to, it's a twist and curl. This one works. You like that one? But it's so, so small. Well, oh, know, there's no gap. Yeah. You have, have no gaps or else. Yeah. I know, they always have gaps. Bonus, it's cool. I yeah. there's no gaps. Because Bonus, it's cool. It's oh, like, never mind, there's a gap. You just can't see it. Yeah. It. All right, let's look at that one. Come on, big guy. See how Sam made a path in the snow from the horses? And Chino takes the path. <laughs> That's the story of Chino's life, you guys. Come on, Pen. I'm literally miserable. I'm miserable. I love it. This, Sophie's loving this. I'm loving this. <laughs> You're crazy. Gabby's coming down to do chores. But it's already time to put the horses in. And I called Chino already. He's gonna be upset. Oh, he's looking. He's like, wait, what? Are you coming or not? This is killing me. Winter's killing me. Before the snow came, I was like, oh, you know, like, it's going to be so fun this winter. Like, all the things I have planned for the horses, like, it's going to be fun. And then one snow falls, and I'm like, oh, I can't do anything. I'm too cold. <laughs> She's really itchy. She's really itchy. <laughs> You're really itchy, too? Oh, oh. Yeah, so itchy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's loving a good scratch. 
You love a good scratch? But yeah. she's like leaning all the way into me. I know. She's like, scratch me. So it is true that we are taking a few minutes to recoup and get used to the weather before we start back into my plan for the horses for the winter. But I do plan to do a lot with them this winter. I plan to be out here and doing stuff a lot. Right now I just want to clean up the stuff because with like the wind and the ice and stuff, the snow and the ice, I don't want these things to get stuck. I don't want our poles to get stuck in the middle of the ground, in the middle of the arena. Sophie's little mini shadow. <laughs> she doesn't go outside all day because it's cold, but she follows Sophie. Gracie's watching. Gra Gracie the mom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Watch, she gets up and runs and bucks. <laughs> She's like, what she can get over? Stupid blanket. I didn't know I was telling a lie. It's been a long day for sure. How could I resist your smile? thing where she just <laughs> yeah we know you hate the blanket I know I sure you Some of the exercises that Sophie's supposed to do with the mini are going to be harder. So she's going to have to get her moving in the arena. <laughs> she's such a cute baby. Gracie's like, I'll do it. <laughs> back really soon um, she'll come back more often for honey and for Chino and Chino actually is doing really well but I like to get his feet done more often than the girls need it so now that honey's here whew, she will get her feet done more often and also Chino will get his feet done more often it's actually not bad like inside the arena here it's not warm by any means but at least I can handle it. Our arena is looking super bare, minus Penny's ball and our barrels. But sometimes like in the winter time, you guys have seen before, the snow will come in here and the, and the rain and stuff will come in here and we'll get ice patches. All right, honey baby, honey bear, you ready to get your blanket off? Yeah? No. This horse has gotten so good, you guys. Like, I cannot get over how amazing she's pony. been. This pony, yeah, we've had lots of help. I've seen comments where people are like, why do you think Sophie can train a foal? Well, obviously she can't, she's only 13. But what Sophie can do is learn and be taught by someone who can tr train a foal. Oh, and so that is what she's been doing. I hate actually hitting them because they're right behind me. I, don't think I know, it's called being a mom. Fluff her up. I will stay just to feel your Ruby, my camera's died, my battery's dying, but honestly, I just missed it. Ruby is obsessed with the foal, obsessed with her. Like, she sniffs her, she kisses her. Uh oh. Finally, right.
I posted and asked everyone to send us questions, questions that you feel like we've been avoiding so that we can do a Q&A video and answer all the questions that you guys think we've been avoiding. What are you doing? Uh, oil in the tractor. This, you have to do all this to put oil in a tractor? Yeah. Holy cow, I would never have a tractor. That was too much work. If you're not going to use this brush bag, like I do kind of like this one. Oh, okay. It's still at the other barn, all her saddle and stuff. So we're going to bring that home probably this week. Why don't we bring it home this week after riding so we can like have all of our stuff in one barn. Actually, I think I'll put them in the trailer. Everything from your locker? No, the brushes. Oh. Oh, yes. She says, give me lots of, lots of scratches. So Sam bought us this bell. And I'm gonna try and use it. I know, it's annoying. I'm gonna try and use it to train Penny to come. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. And it's so like white. Do you guys think she's gonna be tiny? Like it's not, like a few more months till she's one, but she'll grow till she's three, so. Especially if she grows till she's like that high. No, she won't. Her, her parents are small. I always like to feel her belly, like feel her skin, make sure that I can feel that she's got a little bit of fat on there because you can never tell when they're so fluffy. Feel her mane, it's so soft. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful! You want gloves? Put it on my arm. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember when we got Honey and she had those long hairs and they were only like up to here? And now they're like, her whole mane is, wait, you can't tell the difference between Sophie's mane and Gaff's and Honey's mane. But look, now they're like, most of her tail is turning into that, those long, coarser pieces. Yeah, poor Gabby's doing ugh, water in the winter. It's just one of the things that I hate. Anyway, if we seem obsessed with the baby, it's because we are obsessed with the baby. And we like to share her with you guys. I always look for videos of like baby folds. I always look for videos of foals, and I can never you find them. Now. Come on, Ted! Come on! Come on! Look, at Chino wants to play with Molly. Come on! Our water warmer is working well. Gabby's her. Yeah, I turned off the head. You deserve a treat, Mr. Magoo. He actually is like playing now. Cause when you're away, there's a hole in my heart. Feels like a danger. So far I've taught her to repel the bell. Run when the bell rings. Run! That's amazing. Sam's been working on the ski hill or on the sledding hill this morning. Um, but listen, do you know why I hate winter? Do you know why I actually hate winter? Wow, that's so cool. And then I spin around and I... That's cool. I love it. Okay, I don't know if it's only me, but I can only get off the sled on one side. Your eyes look huge. So this side instead of this side. That's because you're right-handed. Okay, so do you know why I hate winter? Do you actually know why I hate winter? Why? Why do you hate winter? Cold. Oh. Look at even Penny's standing over her. Like that's amazing. I just love this. This has been the best experience. And even Ruby loves her. Ruby. So the reason I hate winter is because to be comfortable, to stay warm, you have to wear 100 pounds of clothes. I am not comfortable in 100 pounds of clothes. And Sophie's over there laying with her foal, which is what you do when you have a foal. 
Like, I always have been envious of those people who have had, like, a horse from the time it was a baby and made it their own. Like, that is such a beautiful thing. Like, it's so beautiful, you guys, her being able to, like, sit with her full. So, the reason I hate winter, you guys, it's because I have to wear a lot of clothes, a lot of boots, a lot of socks, a lot of everything just to stay warm. Like, it's the worst. Get away, Willow. She's saying no. No. She's saying no, too. Willow, okay. So, anyways, before my battery died, we were down playing with the horses and we, we were having so much fun. And I told you guys I was training Penny to come to the bell. Can't obviously do that by just standing at the edge of the field saying, come to the bell. So I was working on it in the arena with her, but the battery died. So now I'm gonna, sh oh, it's annoying. So now I'm gonna show you guys what we worked on and how it worked. Stay, stay, come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Stay. She's not happy with the other horses around me. <laughs> she smells my pocket. <laughs> you can't have treats. I'm sorry. Not yet. You're too little. <laughs> Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Penny. Every, all the horses are like, wait, let's get with our person. This is how it works when we come down here. Yeah, I know it's really loud, but it's because Good girl, yeah. Such a good girl. Honestly, this baby is adorable. Like, I'm obsessed with her. She's yeah. so cute. She's only not coming to me because I have Willow. Yeah, she does, she's not going to wilt. To... Don't put your head into me. She's supposed to learn not to lean into us. Anyways, that is the plan. Sam, I hate to say it because I'm so grateful you bought a bell. Now you got the most annoying bell. I have to put yeah. some kind of thing on it. Like, that hurts everybody's ears. I'm going to continue to do that, though, every single time I'm down at the barn with her, especially after she's been outside when it's, like, nap time in the barn. Because I really do want her to come. Oh, hello, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to You want to make her sidestep? No, oh, so Sophie wants to walk backwards and then Willow will sidestep to her. Sweetheart.